Adventures with Ola. Hello. I'm finally doing an Adventures with Ola that's not in my office or at home. Ugh, getting a little bit sick and tired of making the adventures at home and unboxing and shit like this. Now I'm finally doing something. Today I'm picking up Mark Holcomb of Periphery. He's in town. He was meant to do a clinic uh, the day before yesterday, but his flight got canceled because, you know, it's, it's, there's a lot of snow here in Sweden and it's just terrible. There's blizzards everywhere and uh, all the time. Anyway, he safely landed in Sweden now and I'm about to pick him up and bring him to the office. God damn it, we're gonna spend time at the office. So it's gonna be an adventure with Ola at the office, I guess. But at least we have a guest. So that's at least something. Periphery are playing in Stockholm on Saturday. Hopefully I get to do a bunch of those slow motion camera thingies that uh, I usually do with bands. So uh, let's go, yeah! I think there's a new building here. That's that's what happens when you never go into the city. <laughs> it's just so much shit happening. Time flies, man, and then suddenly there's a fucking building there. All right, I think he brought his uh, guitar, so I have to fix the back of the car. Ugh. That's the spot. Look at that. You've done this before. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Oh, 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 oh. Don't stop. <laughs> Getting comfortable. Oh my god. Don't stop. <laughs> oh. She's like, go. Now you're stuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm literally stuck. My feet are yep. pinned under her. Yeah. Yeah. What's your favorite amplifier? I mean, I've just, I go easy. I've always been a 5150 guy. Yeah. Yeah. Can't go wrong. Yeah, that's that's their best, I think. Yeah, it's yeah, so freaking yeah. good. Yeah, man. Yeah, I'll be honest. I've kind of fallen off the amp game in recent years. I think everyone has. Yeah. Here we go. Good. Are the pickups based on anything particular, or like you know when the pickups are very flat yeah. and very boring? Because, <laughs> well, because it, it's easier to kind of match them with uh, amplifiers and shit. Yeah, but this yeah. is like this is really fucking. So it's very modern. <laughs> Do you remember the Alpha Omega set that yes. we put out? Yeah, it's like so that was the original set we did in like 2013 or 2014. Okay. This is meant to be it's like it's quieter, it's less yeah. hot, but we dialed in with this like these split position tones right. in mind. Yeah. I just figured yeah, out like good. yeah, having something with less like that that doesn't lock you into having this really hot. Yeah. Um sound you can compensate on the amp side we're using other elements to inject that but right. just, you have more control over it if it's not the hottest thing ever you know? right they're still pretty fucking like hot yeah but, but they're not you know I, I i don't think as far down as other pickups are with duncan you know yeah yeah, yeah. that sounds great thank you man all right i think i think we're sort of set up and ready to go Fuck yeah should we do coke zero with all instead do you want a coke zero Ooh. What if I just drink more coffee? You can have more coffee if you want, that's fine. Okay. All right, we just finished up uh, coffee with Ola. How did it go? Went well, yeah. I think we both uh, just crushed up a bunch of uh, beta blockers and Adderall and some crusty socks and crusty socks. Just like, have no, you tried no. this after? No, no, no. It's I think... a sick fucking amplifier. Okay, I tried. Tosin used this too. Oh, I would love to fire it up if you oh, don't let's mind. do it. Let's yeah, do it. if you're good with time, I don't want to take a Yeah, time. sure, sure. Are you guys using Evertune? You do it in the studio, right? Or... Yeah, in the studio. Actually, live too, man. Okay. Um, we use it live. 
I just don't have it on any of my guitars right now. Right. But dude, they're so awesome. Yeah. You use them too, right? Yes. Yeah. It's fucking square line. I know. But uh, yeah, at least we're live and for recording and shit like that, you know? But yeah. uh, I mean, I'm a Floyd guy too, so I like Floyd. Whammy stuff is great because it's uh, you don't have to be technically very yeah. awesome, but you can make cool things anyway. That's that's where I'm at. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, this is play is sick. Yeah, I love this. You got fishermen's in here. This is a you should plug in the eight string on this. I want to hear the eight string. I'll plug it in. Dude, this is this play is incredible. This is like a shred machine. <laughs> That sounds pretty bossy. Yeah, <laughs> that's man. fucking great. Wow, that's just the amp, no tube screamer. Yeah. That's... Oh, let's plug in a tube screamer. Just to hear how it sounds. I'm just gonna film a guitar real quick. Yeah, yeah. I like this one a lot. <laughs> This is the new one. Yeah, yeah. I brought it up. Yeah, just, uh, just because I fucked it up. Yeah. I'm sorry, Misha, but there it is. <laughs> I promise. I promise I will make a video of this this pedal. The Clarity uh, Clarity Compressor. I've had it for a while. You don't have any cabs on stage, do you? Like, it's it's mainly in the ears. And... We have them just for stage noise. Yeah, like, okay. You know, just to feel something coming at you. Right. Yeah, you can't really hear it unless you're in the first row or two. You know? Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But is it the real cabs and power apps, or is it like a... Full range, full speaker uh, thing. Or? Yeah, real, real cabs, real okay. power amps. Yeah, um, but yeah, you don't hear any of that front of house. No. Yeah, it is refreshing. Every time I play an amp, I'm like, should we go back? But then I like, I lift them. Yeah. And then I'm like, oh. your back says no. Yeah, my back. Says no. <laughs> my mind is saying yes, but my yeah. lower back says no. Yeah. yeah. It's also just the, uh, you know, even though it's it feels more real when like it's shifting and you know the cabinet's really working. Yeah. Like you know, there's a different feel to that. But then. The convenience of having everything in one box yeah. and being MIDI switchable, and you don't have to work like it's yeah. that wins. Yeah, I, I every time. The more I do this, like the more I realize is it's all a number of sacrifices, and you just choose the lesser of two evils. Yeah, it's like I, I was talking with somebody about this lately about how like you know there, there's a whole world of gear now marketed at players who play lower tunings. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and and who play you know heavy metal and who like to tune low and have really thick gauge strings and fan yeah. frets and yeah. true temperament frets and, and low uh, long scale instruments but in reality like the most tested way of doing things is just pick up a guitar in standard tuning with a normal scaling yeah. and just play play yeah. an old Fender play an old Gibson mm -hmm. and it's going to play fucking great because there's decades of research and battle testing of those elements working together. Yeah. You know, all this stuff is relatively new, so we're still trying to figure out how right. to make these elements work yeah. together. But like just take an old telly mm -hmm. or an old strat and standard tuning, it's just it's the best. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Because yeah, it's been around so long. Yeah. yeah. Alright, so there he went. That was great. Holy shit. We recorded a Sunday with all on here. We also played this amplifier a little bit. It's the bad cat uh, using his guitars. And uh, Mark is an absolute sweetheart, and uh, yeah, can't wait to see the band on Saturday. Next Sunday with Ola, I will probably do this uh, slow motion footage of the band and a couple, you know, maybe a little bit of uh, back behind the scenes footage. So, there you go, Adventures with Ola. <laughs>